If you're interested in pack openings, tutorials, XP methods, content drops, news, updates, anything like that that's really not gameplay for MLB The Show, be sure to check out my second channel. First link in that description. For today's video, though, we have the Diamond Dynasty live content and esports feature premiere. A little bit of a recap, just like we've been doing every week. And then later tonight, the game drops. Midnight Eastern, nothing but bangers coming up on the channel. Be sure to subscribe if you're not already. Leave a like on this video and comment down below the first thing you're going to do once you launch MLB The Show 22. So the first thing that we have are the five legends with that really cool art made by the same guy who made the special cover that will be in that special legends pack where you get to choose one player. So the first big news from this feature premiere is the brand new mode. It's called Mini Seasons. And this is an offline play versus CPU mode. There's going to be eight teams that you're playing against. Each team is randomly filled with a real person's Diamond Dynasty roster. So every time you start a new season and many seasons, each team will just be given somebody's random, some random person's Diamond Dynasty lineup for their team. And you can choose every time you go into a game, you get to choose your difficulty. It's a 28 game regular season. And at the end of the season, there is a four team playoff which has two rounds that are all both of them are best of five rounds there's incentives however for playing on higher difficulties i'll get to that in just a second and there's unique goals for each season it's going to be kind of similar to the battle royale program or ranked seasons where they last about a month and then you get a new one with new goals to try to complete try to earn new rewards and each team has their little own backstory they made eight fake teams which is pretty cool and you'll be able to read about them get their backstory and stuff like that as we can see here though there are rewards and i'm going to turn the cam off so y'all can see but winning your first mini seasons championship you can only do this goal once for the first season you get 89 overall evan longoria however there's also repeatable rewards and every time that you win the championship, you get the mini seasons championship pack bundle, which has 15 show packs and a ball and as a habit pack, as well as 5,000 XP, 10,000 stubs. And that is every time you win the mini seasons championship. And there's also stuff for, you know, winning the semifinals, making the playoffs, tally 20 hits in a season. And as you will notice, some of these are repeatable. Some of them are not repeatable and they will be and the ones that are not repeatable will be replaced with new missions. You're all of these. And then all of these will be replaced with new missions when the next season happens. So the repeatable ones you could keep doing over and over and over. But these one time ones that aren't repeatable, you can only do during that season. And you'll have to wait for new missions in the new season. But as you can see right here, if you play on Hall of Fame difficulty, you're higher and get 35 base hits while doing so. Extra base hits. You get a ball and as a habit pack. 2,500 stubs, 3,000 XP. So there's some incentives for playing on a higher difficulty. You can see All-Star right above that. And then apparently there's a mystery mission. Nobody knows what it is. I have a feeling someone will figure it out within an hour of the game launching. But if you do that, apparently, I guess three times, you get a mystery choice pack. And it looks like the first mini season ends on May 2nd. Here's a look at the playoff bracket for mini seasons. So just like in the past, you get a grind for most of the content. Just by playing the game, you get a earn stuff choose how you want to play and they will be dropping weekly content just like in the past new content each week during the season push the button at 12 p.m pacific on tuesdays and fridays now this is something a lot of people are probably wondering about there's no designated hitter within diamond dynasty for the show 22 just like last year we have a starter program at the end of it you can earn gold babe ruth this is a nice way to just earn some extra cards stubs xp packs and little items you know just kind of a way to get started and introduced and familiar with diamond dynasty and as we can see the feature program was the face of the franchise this is huge for conquest sim speeds were cut in half that was one of the biggest reasons i hated playing conquest was how much you had to simulate and these are the maps, the Conquest maps to start the year. As we can see, Nation of Baseball, you can earn 88 Mike Pizza to start the year. So that's pretty huge. Love to see that. Also have the batter up for some extra stubs, XP, maybe some hidden rewards and some packs and stuff just like that. And I'll go ahead and turn the cam off in case we're blocking any rewards. I think I saw 79 Curtis Granderson in there. We have prospects coming back from Conquest and these skyrocketed in price. 
when the big collection came out so what i'm probably going to do is when these guys are hopefully going for like a thousand stubs before that big collection or something comes out i'm going to try to stock up on these in case their price goes up just like last year here is the american league central prospects in case you want to see them now these packs are available in conquest i believe you get one of these packs whenever you take over a division in conquest but they also said that these will be available in many seasons so there's going to be multiple ways this year to earn them so maybe they won't skyrocket as much because there will be a bigger supply of them and i think this is different than last year now you get two players out of each pack instead of one i'm pretty sure it was one last year to start the year there's over 1400 live series cards Cards, 190 legends and flashbacks 300 uniforms over 60 stadiums 20 bat skins and over 300 pieces of equipment with 400 plus unlockables so that's a ton and a ton to grind for and start collecting from day one in diamond dynasty so this year they have featured programs that are updated about monthly and they also have other programs such as the starter program monthly awards stuff like that but the featured program seems like it's going to be the best way the main way to earn really good rewards and that first featured program is going to be face of the franchise team affinity that's how we're getting those face of the franchise cards and that is the first featured program and it's all earned through xp which is earned by playing the game you can literally earn xp any mode home run derby road to the show play now mini seasons rank seasons battle royale whatever you want to do you're earning xp playing every single mode and that's how you're progressing through that featured program and apparently those featured programs are going to be very 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 jam-packed with items as we can see right here let me turn the cam off again faces of the franchise we got jazz chisholm cody bellinger the Dodgers familiar faces in there 37 days 18 hours to go is what it says there but about a month long for these feature programs and as we can see choice packs normal packs stubs flashbacks and legends unlockables which is pretty cool to see a 120,000 is where you get your first face of the franchise player and as we can see it's non-sellable so we get a get oh it contains it doesn't this is not a choice pack Yo, this is not a choice pack, okay? So the first one that you get, it contains one of five diamond player items. And you get one of these at random, which is non-sellable, is the vibe I'm getting from this. Kind of crazy. Okay, but then, so we have those non-sellable random packs, but then we get a choice pack too. Okay, so there's non-choice packs, but then there's also choice packs for each division and everything. So you get to choose. Okay, that scared me. I was sitting here like, oh man, are we going to not get to choose any of them? But no, nah, later on, the first one at 255,000 XP, they have choice packs in addition to the non-sellable random packs and through this program you earn 12 bosses okay 12 of the face of the franchise cards six of them are non-sellable six of them are sellable so if you want to get the remaining 18 you're gonna have to buy them on the market so team affinity is no longer a thing team affinity is now through the featured programs and the first one is the face of the franchise okay then number two is three weeks long it's gonna have five bosses and you choose two Two of them through the program if you want to get the other three you would have to buy them on the market and then the third featured program is going to be two weeks long and it is a single hidden legend boss so as we can see featured programs are replacing team affinity and inning programs and they're going to vary in how long they last and they will never have the same style back to back so you're not going to see 30 players for the first one and then 30 players for the second one you know like six weeks six weeks they're going to vary every single time it's going to be different you're not going to see the same one back to back and that is the way to earn xp to get progress in that face of the franchise featured program there's gameplay xp daily moments featured program moments legend and flashback missions for week one it looks like maybe every week we get new missions collections exchanges al face of the franchise showdown as well as march to october this is the best way they could have done the missions okay you get to get parallel xp and that's how you get the mission progress it's not tally based hits you know which you kind of have to do for parallel xp but the fact let me try to rewind it a little bit too just so we can kind of take another look at that real quick yeah look at that so it looks like 350 parallel xp with certain players you can earn 500 xp and it looks like there's a ton of these legend and flashback missions for week one so now for march to october they switch it up because it's no longer team affinity so now you're earning xp in march to october i feel like i really like this change it kind of sucks 
because we don't have team affinity and inning programs but it seems like we're going to be getting featured programs more often overall than the inning program so i feel like it should balance it out but i'm really not 100 percent sure either so co-op mode will be in diamond dynasty from day one they just mentioned that you will actually be able to invite your friends in online co-op which was definitely a struggle during the tech test but it seems like now for the full game we're actually able to invite our friends into co-op mode, which is obviously a W, but I feel like that's the way it's supposed to work. But it's nice that it will be available in DD from day one. And not right away, but they said at some point, they didn't give a time frame, but they said at some point, co-op was going to be getting a competitive mode. So maybe the esports, maybe they're going to have co-op tournaments, which, which in my opinion, that would be a lot more fun than just normal tournaments. I know it says Battle Royale, but big news for co-op. I didn't hear this. Apparently, if somebody quits in co-op, the game keeps going. It just doesn't just end the game if somebody quits. So here's our first look at the Battle Royale program. Something that's new this year is you're going to be earning XP in that program as you go. It looks like every 10 Battle Royale program points, you're earning 2,500 100 XP, which would make 25,000 total. If my math is correct, I'm kind of stupid though, but it looks like you're going to be able to earn XP now in addition to all the other rewards in the BR program. And it also looks like there should be more BR missions because we can see a bronze pack in addition to that silver and gold. So I'm really hoping that means we get at least three or four more missions for that battle royale program. So a huge change to battle royale. Now they have custom rounds where every single program with those bronze, silver, and gold cards, I think they said you're getting one per tier. So one custom bronze round, one custom silver round, and one custom gold round. I want to say every draft, and it's going to include one of those mission cards. I don't know if it's every draft, but that's the way they were making it sound like. But either way, they have a preset round with the mission cards in it. So no more just redrafting over and over and over until you get the mission cards to pop up. Now they're giving you a round where you get to choose one of the mission cards. So that's a huge change, a huge improvement. So there's Larry Doby. He's the first diamond at the 90 spot in the Battle Royale program. And these are going to be changing the rewards. The program is going to be about every four weeks. So about every 28 days, we'll get a new Battle Royale program. Here are the first five flawless rewards. We got a Jason Bay, Andrew Miller, Chipper Jones, Craig Vizio, Pedro Martinez, I love that. I feel like all of these are really, really good, especially for like day one, the first Battle Royale program of the year. I'm really happy with these flawless rewards. Those can be earned once in that Battle Royale program or as many times as you want if you're able to go 12 to Noah as many times as you want. So instead of winning games, it looks like the ranked seasons program is now innings. So play 50 innings, play 100 innings, 150, 200, 300, and we'll see here in just a minute or two or just a second for y'all how many innings you got to play to get that World Series reward. Yeah, they literally just mentioned the reason they made this change is because there were so many quits. It was almost impossible to play a full nine inning games in ranked seasons because everyone was going for wins. If you get down five or six runs, people didn't want to waste their time and keep playing. So this should hopefully, fingers crossed, be cutting down on the amount of quits that we're seeing in ranked seasons. That is such a good change. I love that they did that. I feel like that might be the perfect change if they're going to keep this in. And as you see, you only need 400 innings to earn one of these three World Series rewards. As we can see, Dontrell Willis, Cal Ripken, uh, yeah, Cal Ripken, and then Jorge Posada. Those are great rewards for World Series too. Oh man, I'm loving it. And apparently, according to the developers, Dontrell Willis rakes. He was hitting a lot of home runs, he said, in his mini seasons season. Mini season with Dontrell Willis. So apparently, he's got good hitting attributes and is a pitcher that rakes, which is really cool to hear. And just like Battle Royale programs, the ranked season will reset about every four weeks, about every 28 days, kind of what it's been the last few years, too. And for our first event, it looks like the big reward is 80 at overall Nolan Ryan. Man. These fireballers are going to drive me crazy. This first one, three inning games, all-star difficulty. Every single player is eligible. Use whoever you want. And I assume we'll find out here in just a second how many wins it takes to get the Nolan Ryan card. I really love the addition of XP under the reward path. We have, is that Alfonso Soriano and 87 Alfonso to start the year? 15 wins and then 20 for Nolan Ryan. That's exciting. I actually feel like that's really solid. You get XP along the way, which is nice so you don't feel behind on the featured program. 
20 wins in three innings is not that bad to get Nolan Ryan for a solid 88 overall high velo starting pitcher. I really like that. I feel like this first event, in my opinion, is a W. Uh, maybe 20 wins is a lot. Apparently, we have five full events in April. I feel like that means they're going to be less than a week. What? Uh, that seems like a little bit much. Five events in one month in the first month. Okay. Oh, man. Maybe the biggest W of the stream. Obviously, a little bit of an over-exaggeration, but you can now save your event lineup. Oh, my God. That is such a big change. I've been waiting for that for years. I feel like it took them so long, but I'm glad it's finally in the game. The only three 99s available on day one will be from the Live Series collection. For collecting the entire White Sox Live Series players, you get 90 overall new legend Ray Durham. So here are all the cards you get for collecting the AL West team. And then as you can see, 96 Michael Young is the AL West collect all. So for collecting all the American League West live series cards, you get Michael Young as well as for each team, those five diamonds. And I'm liking that new look for the award series. They actually changed it up a little bit, man. That's cool. I was getting a little bit stale with some of that. Uh, we got Mike Napoli, new legend in there. That's pretty good looking. I feel like those are some solid rewards to start the year with the live series collection. Now, if you collect the entire American League, each division, you get MVP Frank Thomas. Oh man, that's amazing. This, this, he was, Frank Thomas is literally like one of my favorite all time Diamond Dynasty cards. So I feel like I'm going to have to go after the American League first. I love the updated award series. Wow, that's beautiful. For collecting the entire National League, you get 99 overall Roberto Clemente. Also, Chase Utley, Kenley Jansen, Prince Fielder as the division rewards for the National League. And there's Clemente right there. Oh my God, that's beautiful. Wow, I'm loving these rewards so far. I can't wait to see who the MLB collection is, man. That's awesome. For collecting every single live series card you get 99 overall signature series randy johnson yo i'm surprised i don't know how i feel about this okay for collecting every live series card like you do get 99 frank thomas 99 clemente that's huge but the entire mlb collection being a card that you can use like once every five games oh man i feel like in my opinion with this they maybe should have switched Randy Johnson and Frank Thomas, but that's just my opinion. Either way, I love it. Brand new legend. He's absolutely filthy, as we can see. I wish his hits per nine was a little bit higher, but early on in the year, they probably didn't want to give him 125, I guess. But there's Randy Johnson, the live series collection reward. For collecting 25 of those prospect cards, you're going to be getting a 91 overall Adley Rushman. I would assume prospect card for him as well. And yeah, here it is. Take a look at his attributes right here very solid switch hitting catcher wow that's that's better than i was expecting for a 91 overall for collecting 15 all-star series cards you can get an 85 overall joe nathan they've got a lot of smaller collections available right from day one and that's for collecting all-star series here's our first look at shohei otani's live series card with attributes and i'm gonna be the show we just saw the pitching attributes now the hitting attributes right here 102 105 power versus each side i love it oh that's beautiful man i love it i love it i love it here are the packs available from day one we have some limited time packs such as jump start headliners big dog which has choose one diamond player item from one of two tiers rares 90 overall or higher the base is 85 and higher as we can see one of the 90s right there is anthony volpe a yankees prospect and here are his attributes in case you want to see him right there oh i'm excited for this card there is a prospect jack lighter card i feel like that could be fun to use oh man 86 curtis granderson he's always one of my favorite cards every year that kind of mid level curtis granderson diamond is one of my favorites i can't wait and here are the five diamonds in the base round of the big dog choice pack here are the three rare cards from the big dog choice pack the set one the rare round these three guys are available the first headliner is going to be spencer torkelson and i don't know if this is uh if this is new this year but this headliner pack oh I didn't realize this is a choice pack, okay? So this has a much higher chance to have this card, but it also guarantees the uniform. 
So that might be good, man. I don't typically buy headliner packs, but I might have to try at least this first time that 25,000 one. And then just like last year, we have a jumpstart pack. This year, it has five rounds that contain five gold player items in each round is what it's seeming like. So you get to choose five gold players. As we can see on this 50 bundle, there's a chase pack. It contains... 50 show packs plus a chase pack which guarantees one gold or better player with a chance to find the featured set one headliner so that's kind of cool that there's a chase pack i would assume that updates every time we get a headliner and instead of a ball in his habit pack now it looks like we're getting a chase pack this chase pack can also be found randomly in just normal show packs it could randomly give you a chase set one pack or whatever the set is at the time that you pull it from just a normal show pack quick sell values have been updated yo that's a big change as y'all can see here they've changed quick sell values for cards and just like normal the roster updates are going to be happening about every other week once that season starts the companion app is coming back it's still a thing for the show 22 they've updated it a little bit just for the show 22 you can change your squad you can buy packs work the market if you want to you can get notifications for flash sales stuff like that make sure you're downloading that here's a first First look at some of the card art for MLB The Show 22 available day one. I love it, man. I love the changes to award series and signature series. I feel like those were getting kind of stale. Milestone looking as beautiful as ever. The face of the franchise cards look amazing. Those special legend cards we see on Mickey Mantle. I love it, man. Those are great, great, great additions and changes to the card art. And here's a look at the first schedule for upcoming content in MLB The Show 22. Set to headline on April 5th as well as Nike City Connect jerseys earn the seven release so those apparently are coming to diamond dynasty baseball is back opening day on the seventh a new event on the eighth new packs on the eighth headliners big dog set two mlb's number one prospect will be in that big dog set two that's pretty sick to see and i love this it's not on the schedule but for jackie robinson day we'll have some special stuff dropping in the game just like every year i love that they continue to do that and also at the bottom you can see how they're supporting the jackie robinson foundation as well It appears that that is it for the Diamond Dynasty live content esports feature premiere. I was mainly covering DD. They pretty much for esports said it's going to be back. And we'll hear more on that in the future. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you all are excited like I am. Like, comment, subscribe. Social media is all that good stuff. I'll see you next time. Next video will be MLB The Show 22. Peace out.